welcome back. So today is a very cool day. Uh, I have something very special here uh, that came in the mail and uh, well I'm going to open it up and explain it as we go. I mean you guys probably read the title and if you're not following it then you probably don't know what this is but if you're following it then you definitely understand and, and know how cool this really is. Um, this is what is known as Pen Makers of the World Unite. And I guess it was back in the beginning of March. Let's see if we can get into this here. Back in the beginning of March. Yes, there it is. Okay. Um, Mr. Pete Ristall um, came across some Scandinavian ovals. And they were. Um, actually, he had quite a few of them at the time and thought it would be a really cool idea, which it is a very cool idea, to uh, invite us pen makers and lock makers to send him pens to pin up these locks and then send them out uh, to us to pick and then we can after, I believe the idea is that after all of the pen contributors uh, pick the locks, then we send them out to the rest of the community. Um, but Pete didn't stop there. He, uh, he's an amazing guy. Uh, hell of a craftsman because uh, these boxes, he made these boxes as well to go with them. And I have not, I know the caps fit kind of tight on these boxes. So we're going to take that off. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I saw Pickbeard pick one of these already. This is number 10. Um, but he made these boxes with the lids for the lock to sit in and to travel in, which is amazing. Not only that, it's a, scan, it's a Scandinavian oval, but it's also a seven pinner, which is awesome. Totally awesome. Key works perfectly. Now, um, I think this was back at the beginning of March when he made this video and invited us all to participate. Well, I of his last video before he sent them out, he had mentioned that I'm going to recite it back because I think it's amazing. He made ten locks in all, and they're all the same kind of oval, seven pen. I think they all have the same bidding, uh, but there was 21 pen makers that uh, contributed over ten different countries, and we all all together we contributed 140 pens, which makes up the top and bottom pens of all ten locks which just absolutely amazing. Great craftsmanship on making these boxes. He made videos showing how he made these boxes, but not only did he do that, he was kind enough to give us the, uh, the lay down of what's inside each lock. Um, each lock is different, but this inside this lock, it looks like we have uh, uh, pin number one and the key, all the key pins. We got Flying Locksman, Pickbeard, uh, TJ's lock picking, Paul Lock, Matthew Wilson, Matthew Wilson, Pickbeard. Uh, and the driver pins on this lock we have Monkey Lock Picks, Trekmaster 30, Bronx Lock Picker 60, West Coast Picks, Andy H97, Randy Perkins, and Pick Me 1977. So those are some pretty heavy hitters when it comes to lock makers. Um, I have not had the opportunity to pick some of these guys locks so looking forward to seeing some of their pens and uh, hopefully eventually I'll be able to get get some trades going with some of these other guys and maybe pick some of their locks because I, I think that that that's uh, what really does it for me but at any rate um, of course I just got this in it is a seven pin oval Whew. and look at that bidding <laughs> pretty nasty. Um, got some lows with a whole bunch of highs in the back uh, and ovals in themselves are pretty tough. Uh, and then you add in all these pen makers. <laughs> this is going to be a heck of a lock. But you know what? Uh, we're going to throw it in a vise and see if I can get into it. <laughs> so, um, because well, that's what I do. <laughs> um, we're going to give this a shot. Um, if I don't make it, then you'll see attempt number two. <laughs> um, but uh, at this rate, let's uh, put in the vise and see what we can do here. Um, again, let's make sure that key works, which I know it does. It works absolutely smoothly. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, but let's uh, 
Let's see what we can do with this lock. Um, it's kind of a Yale-ish keyway. Um, kind of reverse actually because the ledge is on this side. Um, I'm gonna... It's pretty wide. I'm gonna use my 50 thousandths pry bar in the top of this. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. And uh, let's start with my gem because, well, that's what I usually start with. Uh, I'm gonna work off of this ledge right here. Maybe at an angle. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, hopefully I'm not oversetting anything, but we're going to give it a shot and find out. Um, let's see here. Focus. There we go. Awesome. And uh, let's give this a shot here. Um, I'm going to apply the light tension because, like I said, there's a bunch of awesome pins in this, I'm sure. Um, feels like five. Okay, i got to click on him. Kind of gave me a little rotation. Two. Okay, I got to click on him. Three. Spinding. Give me, give me. No. Um. Yeah, three is binding. Okay, I got to click on him, but it was an overset. Went back to the back. I let off a little bit. Went back to the back, and now five is back down or six. I keep forgetting this is a seven pen lock. Okay, a little bit on five. I don't feel like this is... Okay, there was two. Gotta click on him. I kind of feel like I feel like I'm reaching with this gem. Oh, well, there we go. I got six, seven. Okay, my feedback went away. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my DeForest Diamond. Yeah, I'm going to grab my DeForest Diamond and hopefully see if there's something I'm missing here. Uh, it's a little higher. Uh, what do I do with my DeForest Diamond? Um, there it is. Alright, and let's see, get into this, come on, I got a pretty good false set going, so now I'm just looking for feedback, oh, there we go, five, give me counter, oh, okay, <laughs> just went really deep on a false set here, ooh, even deeper off a of six, Counter. Am I getting counter on that? Yeah, I'm getting counter on five or six. I think it's six. Okay, I think I just got him set. It was a very light click, but I got it. Seven. That last pin. Wow. Okay, I think I got him. I'm not getting any more feedback out of him. Hmm. I have one hell of a false set here. I think I'm getting whoop, counter there. Wow, that's some serious counter on... There we go, I got him set, but I lost my false set. Three. Okay, I gotta click on him. Okay, something in the back there. Got a couple clicks on five. Hmm. Huh. And I had one hell of a false set, and it's kind of gone. I kind of lost it. I'm wondering if I dropped there, it came back. Oh, now my pick is stuck in the back there. Wow, 
I'm getting counter on one. Okay, I think I got him set. Wow, I cannot get underneath uh, four. Okay, I think I got him. I think I overset him, actually. Oof, that was an overset. Okay, there's a lot going on in the back of this lock, so I'm getting a lot of clicks out of the back. I'm trying to get back to that false set I had. I think I was close at that point. There we go. I think I got it back. Oh, there it is. Wow, I just touched uh, five or six and it really went. Oh, wow. Even deeper. Um... Man, we are there. There's got to be a T-pin or something hanging up. Wow, I mean this is majorly deep. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is one deep false set. Um, bump the, sorry about bumping the camera there. Okay. Am I missing something up front here? One, two, three, four. There it is. I just got it on uh, four, I believe it was. Wow, that is a lock, man. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay, uh, let's zoom out for you guys. Uh, now, here's the part where I am very, very, um, let's say, torn. Uh, do I gut this? and show everybody these beautiful pens that everybody contributed or do I not gut this and send it on to the next guy so that nobody um, has any idea what's inside this when they're picking it you know I've always said that I love to show off the beautiful pens that everybody makes so I'm going to go ahead gut this um, but if you don't want to see the pens because you're gonna get this lock because there's a lot of people who watch my videos that don't pick locks. Um, if you're gonna get this lock and you don't want to watch it, stop the video now. But uh, if you uh, if you want to see, stay tuned because that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> we're gonna gut it. Uh, and this is gonna be a really long video. Um, but um, I want to see what's inside of it, and I'm sure that there are people who out out there who probably don't pick locks that want to see these awesome looking pens. I'm sure there's gonna be. Um, with a lineup like this, we're going to set that up there so that we can see whose pins are what. I'm going to put the key up here as well. Um, and while I try to get this thing uh, apart, yeah, hopefully I don't lock this back up. Um, looks like it has a, one of those clips on the back that I can bend. Kind of looks like a bendy clip. Um, let's see here. Yes, it is. Very cool. Um, but while I'm doing this, I want to take the time to thank Pete Ristall um, for <laughs> coming up with this idea of making uh, a, a, a lock from all over the world um, by a ton of different uh, pen makers. That's just a, a great idea. Um, and uh, it's it's much appreciated. I'm uh, very happy to be a part of it. Wow, this thing does not want to come off of there. 
Um, let's see if I can get another screwdriver in there. Maybe pry it a little bit farther. There we go. I'll bend that back when I need to. Uh, when I put it back together. But absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, let me get that down. There we go. Square you guys up. And we are going to throw a shim in this. Let's uh, turn it like that. That is one deep ledge there. And it is a challenge lock with all kinds of goodness inside. Um, so go. I think I got that shim all the way in. Grab my follower. Pins are up. There we go. Alright. All seven pins are in and working. Yeah, that's awesome. And it uh, looks like it has some good drill protection there and there as well. Um, which you would expect out of, an, uh, out of a Scandinavian oval. But pin one is beautiful. Look at that. That is an awesome looking uh, um, uh, pin in pin actually is what that is. Holy crap. Okay, I'm just going to dump these. Oh, the drill protection's coming out. Let's get um, just the pin here. There we go. That's pin three. I'm going to dump these drill protections up here. Get them out of the way. Uh, four, five, six and seven beautiful pins wow awesome 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 uh, looks like we have threading and one two six and seven is all we have threading in those so awesome job on that that was uh, courtesy of Pete Restall uh, the, the threading these pins, by the way, that's a pin and pin key pin, which has a nail for the top uh, inner pin. Um, but let's pull this. And uh, let's see here. In one, we have a, ooh, a very sharp, very, very fast. It's got serrated with a spool on top. Awesome, awesome pin. Yeah, nice looking pin. Um, we're going to zoom in and show all these pins very well. Then we have a pin and pin. Wow. Yeah, there's the outer. It's very serrated. And the inner, which is a serrated with a nice sharp, comes out to be a T-pin. Nice looking pin. Uh, then in, whoop, okay. I did see the way he came out. He was a double spool. It's actually in like that with the cone down nice um, and then four okay let's see if I can get them to come out without popping on me um, we have a hey wow another pin and pin Jeez Louise that's an awesome looking pin too Man. <laughs> I know I'm saying this but it that they're all awesome I mean <laughs> this is gonna be an awesome lock no matter I mean when you have all these people <laughs> all right um, then we have a T-pin spool and seven. Very sharp T-pin spool. A spool, oh, hello. <laughs> That's awesome. A pin and pin, the very sharp, and he was actually in like that. And it has serrations on the outer. Wow, that's awesome. And then we have a he was in like that a barrel serrated um, trying to look to see I think all of these springs are the same so I don't think he changed the springs on anything uh, but we're gonna take them out one at a time and find out um, yeah that was a steel steel yeah they're all the same Steel, steel. Yeah, all the pen, all all the springs are the same, so that's good. Um, but beautiful, beautiful pens here. Um, obviously, no threading or anything in the top of this uh, uh, Bible. But um, yeah, let's uh, zoom in, show you these amazing pens from all over the world. Um, what a great job! Uh, key pin number one.
is from the Flying Locksman. It is a pin and pin with a nail as the inner pin and serrations on the outer. Uh, two is from Pickbeard and it is a beautiful serrated key pin. Um, three is another uh, serrated, almost spoolish, and it's from TNJ's lock uh, lock picking. Uh, four is from Paul Lock, and it is a nice looking serrated. Uh, five is another serrated from Matthew Wilson, and another almost double spool key pin is from uh, Matthew Wilson. Then we have in uh, seven, we have a, another serrated, very sharp serrations on the top of that with a deeper serration at the bottom and that is from Pickbeard. Then up top in the drivers on this lock we have a uh, serrated with a spool on top from Monkey Lock Picks. Uh, then we have that pin and pin which is serrated outer and then a serrated at the top inner uh, awesome pin from uh, Trekmaster 30 then in uh, uh, looks like three we have a double spool from lock Bronx lock picker 60 in four we have a West Coast picks pin and pin in five we have another double spool but barrel spool basically barrel serrated uh, almost kind of like an asset pin from uh, Andy H97 then we have a uh, uh, Randy Perkins pin and pin and then we had the um, uh, T pin spool from uh, Pick Me 1977. That would be me. <laughs> all all uh, steel springs up top. Uh, awesome, awesome. This was the number 10 lock from uh, uh, Pin Makers of the World Unite. Um, thank you so much, Pete Restall, for coming up with this and putting it all together and making these amazing boxes and locks. And uh, thank you to all my fellow pin makers. Um, I hope that everybody enjoyed this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time and well, don't break the law. <laughs>